Baldur's Gate 3's Patch 7 Mod Manager came out three weeks ago today, and I'll be covering some of the best mods that are in the Mod Manager, and some other ideas that I think will be coming to the Mod Manager soon. So, first things first, the Facial Animations mod, which you can see here, my character's looking around. This is a very cool mod that just got added to the game, and it adds a lot of extra flair, so every single character has little tiny details that have been changed so that they feel a bit more lifelike. I can't say enough good things about this mod because it's just super cool to see the character doing different facial animations breathes a bit of life into the characters some other mods that I really like are customization based mods like you can see there I obviously have stolen shadow hearts hair here but there's mods that allow you to use any of the hairstyles from the base game on your characters this has also been confirmed for console so that's an incredible mod and uh, there's also a bunch of different facials and hair mods that I'll be covering in this video so we got the simple hairstyles mod I was a big fan of this one it just gives you the option to choose bunch of different simple hairstyles here that you can add to with like the K's hair extensions mod or the bangs bangs everywhere mod so you can see here we can add a lot to these just gives you a whole lot of creative freedom over your character which I'm a big fan of and then you can see here we got things like Jahara's face we got uh, that's Kaga's face shadow hearts face so go back to the one there I'll put a bit better of a hairstyle on so you get a better feel for it but this is Shadow Heart's face here. A little bit different because I'm playing as a drow. Uh, there's Minthara's face. Isabelle's face, which does look a little funky. Jahara. And then we also have Kaga there. I am using Vampiren's facial mod here, which will hopefully come to the mod manager eventually. But uh, there's lots of creative freedom that we got here. Uh, we can add in things like Shadow Heart's hair. So we got Shadow Heart, the classic one here. We got Shadow Heart Eve. And uh, we also got like the fairy hairstyle. This is in the Nexus mods. Uh, Yippee Yi made this mod. It's great, but not in the mod manager yet. Hoping for that. But you can see we got pretty much every character. We got Isabelle's hair. We got Oren's hair here. Jahara, Umberly, etc. Mistra, Shadow Harp. And then Kay's hair mod as well is another one that I really like. So that's what I'm putting on here. You can see all these different pictures. This is an incredible mod. This is also confirmed for console. So we got lots of great options for hairstyles here, which is just nice, super nice. So uh, I guess I'll just put it back to one of these ones here and uh, then I'll show you some more customization that we got. Different things like makeup colors too, uh, using characters like Saza. Every character is model. So like we have our different eyes here. So we've got Damon's eyes, Cambi and Mizora, Gortosh's eyes, Minsk's eyes. And a bunch more. These are really well done. Just giving you some more freedom of creative expression over your character. But I could talk about customization all day. Next I'll be going over some of the class mods and subclass mods. Because there's a ton of really great ones in this game. So uh, I guess first things first. This is the, the Mystic class. So tons of spells. It uses its own side points for its resource. We also got side mastery charges. You can summon things in. You can change your beam types for your cantrips. This is a very powerful but very fun one, and I'll show you also what it looks like because you get to choose different psionic disciplines. There's nine subclasses, and these can give you like four to eight different spells. So that's a lot. It, it adds so much to the game. And I'm a big fan of this one because it's just fun to have these classes that are somewhat overpowered but not broken. There are mods that make the game more difficult too, so you can play with those. But yeah, this one is really fun because you get so much so much choice between different classes. I've already talked with the Mystic a bunch. This is the first class added to the mod manager, and it will be on console as well. So lots of fun there. But next we'll get into some of the other classes mods that I'm a big fan of, like the Demon Hunter, which I previously just did a build on, which is based on the World of Warcraft uh, Demon Hunter. It's extremely powerful, so only play this if you want to make the game a little bit more easy. Or, also, if you want to make things more difficult by modding in more enemy health or things like that. So, God Slayer being another one, this adds your strength and your constitution modifier to armor class. The Blood King being a cool one, giving a bunch of different options. This just recently got updated as well. Blood healing. Um, use your blood to heal others. Adds necrotic. <laughs> um, you also got the Viper, which is a two-handed weapon fighter. The Artificer, which is very popular. Alchemist, armorer. Altillerist and Battlesmith being some of the subclasses from it. Very cool. We also got the Arcane Vanguard here, kind of blurring the lines between a caster and a, a melee weapon attacker. I also got 5e spells here, giving things like Sword Burst and Magic Stone, etc. This is cool because you also get a fighting power. 
or fighting style and there's unique fighting styles here that adds like intelligence modifier to the armor class into the fray making ranged weapon attacks as melee spell attacks there's just so many cool spells or so many cool classes that we got here the accursed the vanguard similar to the arcane vanguard the scrounger which i did a build guide for yesterday you can turn to a big titan and like walk around shooting acid at people we got the kanala class here keyblade mount this one's unfortunately only in the mod man or nexus mods the priest which is based on the world of warcraft priest very cool favored soul kind of a blend between a paladin and a cleric slayer being a very powerful one kind of like a rogue and a ranger combined together mind weaver being another class that i really like this has also been added to the mod manager with the sonic warden force blade astral seer and void reaver subclasses i did a build on the astral seer here because it's got some cool spells and uh, like a cold version of cosmic or a cold version of um, the magic missile here and then psychic got a lot of cool things i'm a big fan of this one and uh, we also got blood mage one of the most popular subclasses right now this is a cool one uh different spells that are unique to it and also we have ourselves the witch class which i'll touch on right now because it comes with some cool spells and four subclasses that we get to pick at level um at level four here or level two here so four subclasses giving us things like the frost witch the hex witch uh the herbalist and the witch blade so you can see there herbalist frost witch which resistant to cold damage and uh deals extra cold damage later on hex witch being a nice debuffer and then the witch blade giving uh, extra movement and you can add different uh damage types to your attack your physical weapon attacks it's a very cool one and then we also got the mystic which i touched on now the warlock gets a bunch of subclasses between the undead the celestial uh the dread overlord which i'm a big fan of giving us tons of different choices here this one's very cool i, I really enjoy this mod um it's in the mod manager itself archfey the hex blade got lots of choices there's also the umbral which i can't show sometimes it doesn't let you have multiple of the same type over it for sorcerer we got divine soul sorcerer which is like a, a mist or a, a radiant version of the sorcerer gets as aspects of the cleric there and like planar ally we have the phoenix soul too adding fire damage always nice and then uh, voidborn and the blood sorcerer which i just did a build guide on i love this subclass they did a great job with it you can create blood pools and then pull enemies into them it's, it's really fun we also got rogue subclasses which i'll touch on here because there's quite a few of them so uh we'll just level it up just quickly here to show them off now it does hide some of them but we got like the pirate swash and swashbuckler i also have the aragami class i do have to uninstall one of these for the other ones to show up but we can even summon in pairs to insult targets and uh yeah, vicious mockery as a pirate which is pretty funny there's also cool subclasses for like the paladin we got ourselves oath of conquest i just did a build guide for this one it was really strong and we can choose the oath breaker just based off uh level one these are all in the mod manager as well and then we even got the druid having itself this circle of the stars very nice subclass which turns you into your starry form and you get a bunch of different cool spells there i like this subclass a lot the cleric gets this classic death domain cleric which gives subclass features uh, giving you like bone chill and then you can target two people with it uh so it's pretty fun i mean the bard also gets some subclasses here but it suffers the same thing the rogue does where some other ones will hide your subclass choice so uh that is one thing to keep in mind but when we go to level up we got college of eloquent here eloquence here there's also the college of glamour college of dance and a few other choices and then i have some mods for barbarian fighter and monk but i have to cover those in separate videos so yeah there's lots of great subclasses and class mods now in the game so uh i'm using a move and speed mod but we also have some ui mods here you can see i got the hot bar mod which disappears when i stop moving over it i got a mod here that changes how the inventories look these mods for the armor are from uh nexus mods but i do think they'll get added to the base game because the black this is damon's blacksmith this is civilian armor from the baldur's gate city so I do think that they will come in time but i guess i'll go and show off the mod manager itself because i'll just talk about a lot of the great choices that we got here and you're going to see right now this is from the different loading screens mod so this gives all of the official art as background so you've probably seen every image that they have in the base game so what's nice about this is it gives you a bunch more and they're all official artwork so that's the nice thing about it now i'll just go to the most downloaded this is the trending but most downloaded being the MPUI, almost a million downloads, 700,000. It's crazy. Faces of Faerun giving different faces from characters in the city. I like the other face mods that I have. 
adjustable party limit, increasing party size, dies. Hair extensions, all camp clothing dies from the start. Better mod manager fixes, these are really nice just to tidy this thing up. Better inventory UI, I touched on that. In lock level curve gives you the option to get up to level 20. The K's hair mod also has a bunch of hairstyles I showed off. RS tiefling horns gives a bunch of different horns for tieflings and you can dye them. Better hot bar too, weightless gold. A lot of quality of life ones here. The mystic class, hair unlocked. Uh, lemon shaders, this gives the ability to uh, create different appearances for your characters. And there's different face paints and things like that. Containers extended, I haven't gotten this one to work, but you can put different items into bags and things like that there. Piercings, crystals, so this gives a bunch of different piercing choices. We also got the blood mage here, which I touched on, very cool class. Carry weight extra, I love that one. Uh, so this here gives the ability to carry unlimited items, uh, basically, because you get unlimited carry uh, weight. Visible shield, allows you to see your shield on your back. That one's pretty cool, self-explanatory. Bangs everywhere, as I touched on that. We got a bunch of die mods. Elemental power, gen, gen, genesai. Um, so this gives four different races, fire, earth, air, and water. Um, origin feats give some different origins, gain a feat to come, come in second level in a class. Um, so that does give some different choices for builds. Medusa's hair gives a few different hair choices, which is nice. There's lots of them, love these mods. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of different races, different faces, different classes, um, different, you can finish that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, there's some mods that are a little bit explicit, which I can't really touch on, but, uh, I like Ember's loot mod here, which gives you the ability to, to play your loot with Alfear the Bard and a few other groups of creatures, which is really nice. So yeah, there's a ton of great mods here that I just wanted to touch on because, uh, I've been playing this and... This is three weeks out after the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager came out. Got lots of cool, cool things. The ability to dye nails. The ability to uh, change your eye colors to some very vibrant choices. Infinite arrows. Play as a Kuatoa. Giving different classes different spell choices. So that's what this one here does. Give the ability to play as a vampire. So this actually gives you a bunch of... This gives a bunch of buffs if you start with this origin. You can play as a Dark Urge vampire. It allows you to play a little bit differently. There's also a werewolf version of it, which I think is really nice. We also have like the Artificer class, very popular. Um, Rox's head, like lots of different head mods. The Nightingale, Double Experience, Tiefling Glowing Eyes, uh, Mind Weaver, Warlock Remembrance, D&D Expanded, which gives a bunch of different races here. So like giants and goblins. So as you can see, there's tons of great options and more to come. So I just want to touch on some of the Baldur's Gate 3 mods that have been added in patch 7 in three weeks time. Obviously, we're going to see a lot more as time goes on. So let me know your favorite mods in the mod manager. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you all in the next video.